Welcome to the first episode of our exclusive podcast series where we will dive into the exciting world of cryptocurrency staking through the lens of the Exodus wallet. I'm your host, the Wolf of Crypto. You guys are tuned into the uh, Wolf of Crypto podcast here. We're going to be looking at Exodus staking. And I've been deeply immersed in the world of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology for the last, about give or take, six years. Today we're going to be exploring the fundamental concepts of staking and how the Exodus wallet plays a pivotal role in this process and what's been kind of been doing for me as if you backtrack to when I first kind of dip my, I guess you could say my toes in there and try to test out the waters of Exodus and fill out the temperature. I was like, you know what? This has some potentials. Obviously if I had bigger chunks in there, you look back the staking at that time I believe they only had maybe like a couple of coins that were really accessible to you know consumers and stuff like that users like me fast forward I was like you know what obviously when the market kind of changed that's where I was like you know what I knew I would circle back at one one point or another to really try to see what kind of returns I could really get off this bad boy. And especially it being a wallet where obviously you own your private keys, you own your wallet, um, not necessarily being connected to any exchange, but as far as just trying to understand staking, I look at that concept of staking, especially in the realm of cryptocurrencies, and I'll try to actually uh, make an equivalent comparison to what you would see, I guess, in the traditional finance world. Because I know those of you that might be listening might not have uh, too much knowledge in the crypto space, or you might, I don't know. So I want to be able to try to explain it across the board here. But in the realm of cryptocurrency, staking refers to the process of uh, actively participating in transaction validation on proof of stake blockchains. Unlike mining, which, you know, requires substantial computer power, staking enables users to validate transactions and create new blocks by holding a certain amount of cryptocurrency in a compatible wallet. The significance of this obviously staking is not just about validating transactions. It also means that you're contributing to the security and decentralization of the blockchain networks by staking your assets. You play an active role in the governance and security of the network, thereby earning rewards in the form of additional cryptocurrencies. Now, as far as trying to understand that and maybe kind of give, I guess like a base of concept of just what I'm doing as far as money that's being held. Um, think of it as like a CD or a savings account, obviously at, you know, kind of the most basic function because the other parts and tangibles that come along with staking on some of these blockchains, uh, it's a little bit different. And I'm about to go into that a little bit, but for those of you trying to kind of understand like, okay, he's staking crypto. Obviously these staking coins have, different APYs and uh, as far as the returns on each one you can go as low as what 
zero point something percent. High as 20, 20 plus. Um, and that's on, you know, not too many. And again, this is just on the staking side, but I guess that's kind of the best way I can kind of break it down as far as the money side of it. It's equivalent to, like I said, you have it in a savings account or CDA and you have a certain APY that you know you're going to get on return for those assets. But go back to the cryptocurrency realm of staking, back to the whole active role and governance. So some coins um, actually have a uh, <laughs> opportunity for those that stake on the platform where you can participate in future actions of these given coins voting in some cases. Um, I won't really get into it too much because each one's a little bit different, but obviously you're playing a role in security of the network as well. So obviously the comparisons of a CD and staking like I said, only on a basic level after that, the advancement and what you can do on the crypto side in the realm in this world is very, again, like I said, very highly sophisticated. But as far as why I chose Exodus Wallet, because obviously when it comes to staking, you want to make sure that you're doing it in a place where you know you have full control of your money because last thing you want to do is uh, go back to your wallet. Next thing you know, all your funds are gone. I chose Exodus because it seems like uh, they have the most traction in the crypto community for its user-friendly interface. Um, it's robust security features support it for a variety of cryptocurrencies. The design uh, at least made it kind of a go-to choice for me. And for those of you that might be new, it's pretty easy to operate. And those of you that are seasoned vets in the game, you probably already know how seamless and easy the platform is to use and a secure platform to, you know, stake and manage your digital assets because uh, as you guys know if you have been in the space for a little bit having control of your assets is uh, it's key man because at any given second you are not careful and just what no sense of urgency when it comes to keeping track of your crypto. It can get snatched. And it will get snatched if you're, like I said, careless. Can't be careless with these uh, valuable assets. Some of the key features of the uh, Exodus wallet, obviously the sleek and Intuitive user interface, not just on the uh, browser, if the desktop app, mobile app, everything is very easy to use. Obviously, you have your C phrase, which are two factor security authentication, and you can do the face um, lock as well. Obviously, you want to make sure that <laughs> that C phase is uh, written down somewhere safe. Put that thing in a vault. Lock that bad boy up. Obviously, you guys know that that is your key. That is that is your life. That is your livelihood. As soon as you lose that bad boy, man, somebody gets control of that. They got control of all your assets. And then they'll wipe you out clean. See you later. So that's going to wrap it up for our first episode here. Just wanted to provide a 
little overview of staking in the role of the excess wallet in this little dynamic. As far as the next episode, I'm going to kind of walk through my setup, my uh, couple coins that I have and a couple coins that are also on my radar. We'll talk about all the other coins that are available, different percentages and stuff like that. Probably even get into a little bit of just how to even set up an account. It's really easy, guys. Really easy. If you want to initiate your uh, staking journey. And uh, make sure you just stay tuned. Stay updated with this particular series. Um, this is going to be fun here. You're going to want to buckle up. Get your funds right. Get your, get your bread right, man. Get your bread right. But I want to thank you all for listening. And uh, until next time, stay curious. Keep exploring that exciting world of cryptocurrency and don't get too uh don't get too lost in the sauce. <laughs> Be careful out there, man. It's the Wild Wild West sometimes. Y'all take it easy. It's your host, the Wolf of Crypto. Peace.